Hey, what's up, man, players? Man, Talk 24 7 here with an old game. I'm the Vikings squaring off against the Chiefs, and I apologize for not posting the last few days. It's just, I haven't really been feeling it, man. A lot of stuff going on, and I haven't been able to make it. Once the, once the school starts for me, the school starts. Once the semester starts for me, man, I will not be posting, man, videos daily. I will be posting maybe three to four videos, but I do mean to post daily in the weeks leading up to me going back to school. So I'm about to get back to the schedule. I probably post four or five games in the same day just to make up for the lost time and then resume posting daily. But look at Adrian Peterson. <laughs> people, he's over here trucking people when people are behind him. He's trucking people from behind. Adrian Peterson, I have to say, I have missed playing with the Vikings after Going over all these old game plays, the type of plays that Adrian Peterson makes, it's honestly just, it's, it's funny. It's, it's just crazy. Honestly, it's real, real crazy. He runs over a lot of people, breaks a lot of tackles, can catch basically, I mean, easily best running back in the game. Just look at how fast this dude is and he still has energy left. Still, it takes about at least two, three guys to tackle him and you can just run the football over and over using AP and Toby Gerhardt. He's no slouch. He, he's not playing any games either and you can just run the ball. Even their third string running running back has what about a 92 truck or something crazy like that all three of their running backs have 90 truck and I got Adrian Peterson out here returning punts Adrian Peterson out here returning punts look at that move he dives into his own teammate that has to be a torn ACL something broken fibula something and Adrian Peterson goes in for the punt return touchdown but Jamal Charles has an answer of his own and goes in for a 76 yard touchdown right there man I got the math right I want to say man 76 that sounds about right in the math department and Adrian Peterson I mean look at this running over three people at, at the same time Running over three people at the same time and still has the speed to get an extra what? 60 something yards? A touchdown. A touchdown. Still has the speed to go in for a touchdown, but we have to stop his offense. He's content with kicking a field goal, so I am content with giving up a field goal. I never really have a problem giving up a field goal be before halves. Honestly, that's probably the weakest my defense is, is right before the half because I don't care if I give up a field goal, so I will purposely give up a field goal, make them use some time and something like that just to force a field goal because, I mean, honestly, a field goal is three points, and it's the reason I lose some games. I mean, some games I lose by three points because I didn't take my field goals, but at the same time, two field goals is six points, and one touchdown is seven points, so even if I get it, one out of two times, I still gain more points than if I would have kicked the field goal both times. So that's the reason I do it. And a touchdown is just a touchdown, man. It's just momentum changing. And we have an 11 point lead and he's making catches like that. Dwayne Bowe, Jamal Charles start making plays, hits me on a couple out routes. And I thought Jamal Charles was about to get a touchdown right there. That would have definitely been fake. Harrison Smith with a rare drop. Very rare drop right there. He usually is very shorthanded. Usually does not drop any interception. That's, that's just bad user. Let's call it what it is. So I go at it again. This one probably should have got picked. He goes for the safe play, knocks it down, and we pick up a third down. And Toby Gerhardt, as I said, runs over five people. Runs over five people. He is no slouch. He's just not a home run hitter, but he's a great downhill runner. Don't figure on Josh Freeman who gets ended right there. Oh man, got ended. So I have to use Matt Castle. That's who I prefer to come in as my second string. And we get the fourth down in inches. Very, very tight. Surprise we got that right there because especially with Christian Ponder and look at that strike though. Look at the strike to Kyle Rudolph and we go in for a much needed touchdown to go up 42 to 32. And that is where the ball game is over. If he scores right here, he doesn't get anything back because I mean, he has no timeouts left, a minute left in the game. Chris Cook is getting snagged on though. Is that Chris Cook? I don't know his first name. That dude just not making plays. 
not making plays, but we get the onside recovery, and right there is the ball game. I don't even know if I score again, though. I just going for the safe QB Neal. He said good game. I said good game, man. All these rare games, I'm taking QB Neals. I'm kicking game-winning field goals, man. That actually just recently happened. I mean, game-winning field goals, man. A lot of crazy things going on in these tough games, man. Games getting kind of tough. Got to abbreviate from the game plan just a little, but we got it done. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game.